Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kyle at Projection Hub, and today I am going to be showing you how to make a cover page for your business plan. In this video, again, I'm gonna be using free tool to demonstrate how you can kind of take it just from maybe your name on a page uh, to something that's visually appealing. So when you hand that to a lender or someone reviewing your business page, it makes a good first impression. Now, as I mentioned, my name is Kyle Fawcett and here at Projection Hub, we help small businesses, startups, any type of entrepreneur related thing, create financial projections and business plans. A lot of times for SBA loans, but in general, anytime someone needs a business plan, that's something we're helping out with. And in my time before Projection Hub, I was an SBA loan officer for almost seven years. And so in that capacity, I was reviewing business plans, reviewing projections, putting together loan packages, helping people through that process. And so I've reviewed a lot of business plans, I've written a lot of business plans. In today's video, again, I'm just gonna be showing you a quick tutorial on how you can make a good looking cover page for your business plan for free. So if at any point you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. That helps a fellow small business like us. And a lot of our content relates to starting businesses, growing businesses, managing businesses, all about helping small businesses and startups. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, here we go. As I mentioned, we're gonna create a cover page for a business plan in today's video. So we're gonna be using some, some free tools. So the goal is to show you how to do this totally for free, even if you don't know how to do design or graphic design or anything like that. And so what I have opened here is a free sample business plan template. Now this one exactly that I'm showing you isn't quite available for download yet, but we do over on our website have 70 or so free business plan templates for different industries. That's probably linked down below in the description if you wanna go grab one for your industry. But just to use this one, this is a new version of some samples we're gonna be releasing and rolling out soon. So if you like what you see in here, stay tuned, those are coming. But we're just gonna be focusing on the cover page today. And so, you know, reasons why you're probably gonna want, I think it's a nice touch to have a nice cover page because it doesn't elongate your business plan. It's a nice first impression. And I think it's a nice touch. So I'm gonna show you how to do that quickly here. All right, so we are gonna be using a tool called Canva. Now, you probably have heard of Canva before, maybe you haven't. You can create a free account on Canva and you know there's limitations to a free account. You're gonna see things like there's less templates available, there's less assets you can use, but there are enough free things available that you can still get a nice cover photo, cover page made. And so we are going to do that now. So if you wanna create a free account on Canva, feel free to do that. We don't have any sort of affiliate link or promotion link, it's just a nice tool, so that's what we're going to use. So first what we're going to be doing, and, and and for a quick disclaimer, I hope that this gives you encouragement. I am not a Canva expert. I'm not a graphic design expert. I have some self-taught graphic design background, but I do not have a deep experience using this tool. So if you see me stumbling through things, hopefully that gives you some encouragement that you can do this too. We're gonna just go through this here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say create a design. And now I'm gonna do docs. And you know, honestly, what you can do here is we could do like a cover page or Better yet, let's do it this way. Because we want it to be letter size. That's the main thing we want to make sure it happens. But I'm going to go over to templates instead. And let's just do business plan cover page and see what we get. Oh, we're going to already have some nice options here. So you can see we've got a lot here. Now to point out, you'll see some that have this crown. Those are going to require a paid Canva account, which Canva is not super expensive. So maybe you find one and you want to do that. But you also see there's lots um, or there's there's paid ones here that has template contains paid elements. So the template itself, there might be like an image in there that's paid for. But if it doesn't have that icon, that means it's totally uh, free to use. So we have a coffee shop business plan template. Let's grab a template that we think might be nice for a coffee shop and let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, and we don't need to overthink this right now, just for example sake. So let's do this one here. So and then I can just say, customize this template. So this is gonna be in portrait, it's gonna document sized. So that's a good thing that we wanna be mindful of there. I think that is about the size we're gonna want. So just click customize template there. Now you can see we have our little design canvas here. So all of these elements can be removed, can be changed, type different things in here. So again, if we go back to our example here, we're gonna do one for a coffee shop called Hearth and Brew Coffee Shop. Now, maybe you come to a point where you're like, I don't have a logo. What should I, what should I do? You know, you can obviously pay to have a logo designed if you don't have one yet. If you're looking for a placeholder, there are lots of tools. Maybe you can even get one off of here. But what I like to do as another free tool, you can create a, you can go to ChatGPT for free or Gemini or any of these any new chat bots. And we can just do something like create a logo for my new coffee shop called Hearth and Brew. will be cozy and use neutral colors, right? You can do as much detail as you want. If you wanted art style, all of that. And let's just see what it comes up with for example's sake. Looks like it's thinking here, right? 
So now it's done with that, which for example sake, totally fine. We're gonna just download that one. We're going to use that, okay? So now I'm gonna go back over to our new template. Now you're gonna need to upload any image that you wanna use yourself, right? So I'm gonna drop in that. Yeah, and we're doing it live here, right? This should give you comfort that I'm not a Canva expert. A lot of this is going to be drag and drop. So now I can take this image, if I want it right there, and it's just gonna drop over. Now, again, that may not look amazingly aesthetic. If you don't feel comfortable doing a lot of the tweaks for the different design things, then it's gonna come down to what type of template you choose. All right, so now we can do, if we want this to stay, Hearth and brew. If you want to have a date in there, you can. You may not have to have a date. A date. Here we can say comfort of home, taste of excellence, and then who you want to prepare for. You can go into great detail here, change all the different things you'd want to. This video today is not a tutorial on how to use Canva like a pro. It's not even a tutorial on how to make the most amazing business plan. I just wanted, or a cover page. I wanted to show you that there's a free tool that you can do something. You can spend as much time on it as you want. But part two of this video, which I'm not, it's not a separate video. I'm just going to do it right now is going to be how to actually get this into your business plan. So a lot, I prefer to use Google docs when writing business plans. I know a lot of people would like to do that. It's a free tool. It's collaborative, but Google docs is not great at cover page. So there's some tricks you need to do here to make it work. So let's assume this is ready to go. I guess prepared by my Turner. You don't have to have that in there if you don't want to. This, in this case, it says prepared for. So maybe you want to do that if you want to customize it for each person. But if you want it to be by you, we can switch that to Turner. And again, just to, to quickly show you, you know, you can do different things here. You can make it more transparent. We can edit the video. We can add effects to it. You know, if we wanted it to be, here's some filters. If we wanted it to change a little bit, or we could change it to gray style. Do all kinds of things in here to make that different. So now I want to download this. So I'm just gonna come up to file. I'm gonna download. Now, another limitation is you cannot, for the, the paid one, is you can't change the size of the export. So that's why it's important to choose the right size template because it might download it in a weird aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna download that and we are gonna switch over to our coffee shop business plan. And now we're gonna put it here. So we can see, you can see I can click around on here, but I'm not changing any of the elements. And that's because this image is set into the background of the document, but there are a few settings we need to do in order to achieve that. So what we're going to do is we are actually gonna go into the header. Okay, so here you just double click up top. And now you can see I can select this image. Okay, so I am going to delete that image. And now while I'm selected up here, I'm going to insert an image and I'm going to upload our new cover page. Now, obviously at first glance, you're like, well, this looks weird. So we are going to do some, we're gonna change some options here. We're gonna go to our image options. We're gonna step through here. So first, the size, we need to bump this up to eight and a half because that's gonna be the correct aspect ratio. And we're gonna go to text wrapping and we wanna do behind text. And then we're gonna go down to position. Fix position on the page is what we want. And now we wanna switch, we want this to be zero. And I don't believe we need to change anything else. And there you have it. Now we have that set into the back. Now. One quick thing I'm gonna point out that I realize is wrong. So you can see how this overbled a little bit down the bottom. And that is because our image from the get-go was slightly offsized. So that's why it's it's gonna create that problem. So I don't think we need to necessarily re-demonstrate that, but that's mainly because of the template size that I grabbed. I think it might've said it was A4, that was slightly too big. So if you go back to different templates, we can probably find one that's letter sized. Let's see if we can do that real quick to just give us a new project to demonstrate. Okay. so. What we can do here is I am back in templates, business plan cover page, and let's just do a quick filter. So format, let's do US letter document. Now these ones should be changed. Now you can see that one's still on there. That's just a, a, a quick thing you need to be mindful of is that sizing. This one's A4 as well. Looks like they're mostly gonna be A4. So I guess my quick advice to avoid this slightly on the bottom is just be mindful of what you're putting on the, the very bottom of the document. So you're not necessarily cutting that off. Because if I would do this, looks like it still looks okay. It might just shrink things just a little bit. So still works, still fit in there. That is a quick, now you could technically add text over this if you'd want to, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But that is a quick and free way to get a better than just text on your page cover page. So use Canva, create a free account, use a tool like ChatGPT to create a quick logo if you need a, a placeholder, even if you have a designer working on one. I would ultimately recommend using a graphic designer or something like that to have your logo made because they're going to be able to give you versions of your logo that are going to be more useful. They're going to be able to give you the design files. Um, those those tools like ChatGPT are great for getting a mock-up or a placeholder, um, but 
this image doesn't have layers. There's not a design file, so I can't really do a whole lot with it. And that'll make sense to you if you have a website or you try to do other design things and create t-shirts and all of that, um, you're gonna want different versions of a file. But yeah, there you have it. That's a quick way to create a nice cover page. So go use those tools. Um, grab a free business plan template. And the other thing that I will mention is um, we do offer a business plan writing service. If you need help with financial projections, that's something we can do. But I wanted to plug that we do offer a free business plan review. So if you'd like myself to review your entire business plan, I'll go through, uh, record a video like this, make some pointers. I won't put your video Video on YouTube, obviously I'll send it to you directly and give you some pointers on maybe how you can improve it or we could help improve it if you'd want us to, but there's no charge to that service. So that's linked down in the descriptions below. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.